Hey fam, first and foremost, mad love to everyone supporting the channel. Now I got to keep it 100 with y'all. While I put in the work and do my best to give y'all solid NBA predictions, remember that nothing's set in stone. The game is unpredictable and there are so many variables at play. Think of my forecasts as a tool, a guide to help you make more informed decisions if you're placing bets. But always, always trust your gut and do your own research too. At the end of the day, it's your money and your choice. Let's keep the vibe positive and enjoy the game. Okay, let's start with today's NBA predictions. The first today's prediction is for matchup between Chicago Bulls and Boston Celtics. The Bulls are lagging in the Eastern Conference, holding down the 13th spot with a record of 5 of 13. They're struggling on the stat sheet, ranking 28th in dropping buckets at an average of 106.7 points per game, snagging boards at 27th with 40.9 rebounds, and dishing out assists at the bottom of the pack at 21.8. Their defense is getting lit up with opponents racking up an average of 112.2 points. The Bulls are in a rough patch, having dropped their last four straight. On the flip side, the Celtics are tearing it up this season, sitting pretty at the top of the Eastern Conference with a 12-3 record. They're lighting up the scoreboard, putting up a solid 117.3 points per game, the eighth best in the league. Their defense is holding its own, allowing just 107.2 points per game, ranking them fourth in the league defensively. Their recent run is nothing short of impressive, clinching eight wins in their last ten outings. Diving into the history books, the rivalry between the Bulls and Celtics has been neck and neck since 2004, with the Bulls edging out with 43 wins to the Celtics 41. But in their last eight face-offs, it's a dead heat, with both teams securing four victories apiece. The injury list adds a twist to the tale. The Bulls might hit the court without key players like Zach Levine and Alex Caruso, both on the questionable list. The Celtics aren't at full throttle either, with Drew Holiday, Derek White, and Kristaps Porzingis nursing injuries. The bookies are backing the Celtics with a 13-point spread advantage, a nod to their formidable home game and overall season performance. Factoring in these elements, the Celtics are favored to not just win, but also beat the spread. Their home court form, coupled with the Bulls' recent hiccups and possible player absences, seems to tilt the scales in favor of a Celtics triumph. However, a 13-point advantage for the Bulls is significant, and the Celtics have only managed to beat the spread once in their last six matches. While the Celtics are the likely victors, the Bulls' current slump doesn't mean they'll be easy pickings. I'm betting on the Celtics for the win, but the Bulls keep it within the 13-point spread. The next prediction is for the match between Toronto Raptors and Brooklyn Nets. Tonight's showdown between the Toronto Raptors and the Brooklyn Nets is gearing up to be a real nail-biter, with both squads posting similar season records, the Raptors at 8-9 and the Nets at 8-8. This matchup carries a dash of historical spice, considering the Nets' clean sweep over the Raptors last season in all four of their face-offs. The Raptors, who are holding down the fifth spot in the Atlantic Division, are bouncing back from a close shave with the Cleveland Cavaliers, edging out at 102-105. Their defensive game has been on point, landing them in the 12th spot league-wide for the least points allowed per game at 112.4. They've been beasts on the defensive glass, ranking fourth with a solid 77.2%, and have been putting up a wall at the three-point line coming in at 11th for the least three-point attempts allowed and 13th in stifling opponent three-pointers. Yet, their offense needs to catch fire. Currently, they average 111.9 points per game, which places them at 21st in the league, and they've been hitting 46.9% from the field. On the flip side, the Brooklyn Nets, sitting pretty in fourth in the Atlantic Division, are rolling into this game hot off a victory over the Chicago Bulls, with a final score of 118-109. Their offensive play has been nothing short of stellar, racking up an average of 115, three points per game, and boasting a field goal percentage of 47.2%, which puts them at 12th in the NBA. They've been particularly deadly from beyond the arc, ranking second in three-pointers made per game 
at a whopping 15.6. However, their defense is raising some eyebrows, conceding an average of 114.6 points per game and lagging at the three-point defense, ranking second to last in opponent three-pointers attempted and 25th in opponent three-pointers sunk. The Nets could feel the pinch, with Cam Thomas sitting out. Thomas, a scoring dynamo for Brooklyn, has been clocking in. An average of 26.9 points per game in his eight appearances. His absence could throw a wrench in the Nets' scoring machinery, particularly against a Raptors squad that's dialed in defensively. Weighing recent form and stats, the Raptors, despite trailing offensively, might have the upper hand thanks to their defensive clout and the Nets missing their key marksmen. The slower pace of play, as seen in both teams' possession stats being 10th and 11th, could tilt the scales in favor of Toronto's gameplay. Wrapping it up, this clash is set to be a tight one, but the Raptors seem to have a slight edge, especially with their defensive game and the Nets lacking a key scorer. I'm leaning towards the Toronto Raptors, snatching a victory in this hard-fought battle, likely covering the spread. The next prediction is for the match between Atlanta Hawks and Cleveland Cavaliers. The Atlanta Hawks stride into this matchup carrying a steady 8-8 record, earning them the ninth seed in the Eastern Conference. They're a force on offense, lighting up the scoreboard with the league's second highest points per game at an astounding 123.6. This scoring spree is fueled by their sharp shooting prowess, as seen in their stellar 48.48% shooting from the field. The Hawks are also deadly from downtown, sinking trays at a 37.45% rate. Their rebounding is average, yet it's their defensive play that raises eyebrows, giving up a hefty 121.1 points per game, a stat that places them near the bottom of the league defensively. In contrast, the Cleveland Cavaliers sport a marginally better 9-8 ledger, nabbing the 8th position in the Eastern Conference. They post a more conservative scoring average of 110.8 PPG, which ranks 22nd league-wide. The Cavs' shooting accuracy, both from the field and beyond the arc, trails the Hawks slightly, with percentages of 47.57% and 35.17%, respectively. They match up well with Atlanta in terms of rebounding but shine brighter on defense, surrendering just 112.6 points per game. The odds have swayed from an initial preference for the Hawks at plus 4 to now favoring the Cavaliers at 5. This shift signals a growing trust in Cleveland's defensive strength and their leverage playing at home. Looking back at their last 10 direct clashes, the Hawks have shown dominance with a 7-3 edge over the Cavs. But uh, focusing on their recent five encounters in Cleveland, the home team has taken the upper hand, winning and covering the spread in three of those games. Weighing all these elements, the scales tip slightly in favor of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Their robust defense, coupled with the advantage of playing on their turf, positions them to neutralize the Hawks' high-octane offense. The recent betting line movement also echoes this perspective, suggesting increasing confidence in the Cavaliers. Predicting a Cleveland victory seems prudent, with a high likelihood of them covering the spread in this nail-biter of a game. Given my belief in a Cavaliers win, I also foresee the pace being set by the home team, which could impact the total score. My bet is on the Atlanta Hawks and Cleveland Cavaliers staying under 237.5 points. The next prediction is for the match between Milwaukee Bucks and Miami Heat. The Milwaukee Bucks are storming into this showdown with a hefty 12-5 tally, fresh off a gritty win against the Portland Trail Blazers. They put on a defensive clinic, holding the Blazers to just 40.7% from the field. The Greek freak, Yanis Antetokounmpo, was in fine form dropping a massive 33 points, grabbing 16 boards, and dishing out six assists. His all-around masterclass keeps him in the MVP conversation. On the other side of the court, the Miami Heat, with a solid 10-7 record, are aiming to rebound from a stumble against the Brooklyn Nets. Their defense, which let the Nets shoot 50%, needs to buckle down to challenge the Bucks' high-octane offense. Jimmy Butler, the Heat's scoring dynamo, is geared up to bring the Heat in this clash. Injuries could play spoiler in this face-off. The Bucks might be without Chris Middleton, and Jay Crowder is benched with a groin injury, shaking up their lineup. The Heat are also in a bind, with Haywood Highsmith and Jimmy Butler tagged as questionable, potentially throwing a wrench in their game plans. 
The absence of Tyler Harrow and RJ Hampton is another blow to their depth and flexibility. The battle at the Kaseya Center adds another layer of intrigue. Miami's home court edge, fueled by their raucous crowd against the Bucks' explosive offense, will be a spectacle. Miami's defense, a top contender in the league, will be put to the test against the Bucks' scoring juggernaut. Weighing up both squads' recent form, injury woes, and past clashes, the scales tip slightly towards the Bucks. They've managed to keep the scoreboard ticking while staying solid defensively, even with their injury setbacks. Miami's uncertain roster, especially the fitness of Butler and Adebayo, gives Milwaukee an edge. Factoring in the Bucks' current momentum and Antetokounmpo's expected heroics, I'm betting on a nail-biter with the Bucks clinching the victory. The next prediction is for the match between Charlotte Hornets and New York Knicks. Tonight at the iconic Madison Square Garden, the court set for an epic showdown in the Eastern Conference. The home squad, New York Knicks, sitting pretty at sixth with a solid 9-7, are locking horns with the Charlotte Hornets, currently trailing in the 12th spot with a 5-10 slate. This clash is more than just a game. It's a chance for the Hornets to shake off the sting of their 131-17 beatdown by Orlando and for the Knicks to rebound from their close shave, a 116-113 heartbreaker against Phoenix. Diving into this season's play-by-play, -play, the Knicks have been ball-hawking like pros, snagging the second spot in clamp-down defense, holding rivals to a mere 105.9 points a game. The Hornets, though, are in a bit of a scramble defensively, giving up 122.2 points per game and languishing at 27th. On the offensive front, the Hornets have the upper hand, dropping in 114. One points per game, outpacing the Knicks 109.7. But when it comes to crashing the boards, the Knicks are all hustle, grabbing 46.8 rebounds per game for the third spot, with the Hornets trailing at 11th. Rewinding to their recent face-offs, the Knicks have been schooling the Hornets, taking home four wins in their last five encounters. They even notched a convincing 122-108 win just this month. Historically, it's the Knicks who've been calling the shots in this rivalry, leading 66-57. Scanning the injury list, it's a rough patch for the Hornets, grappling with key players like Lamella Ball and Nick Richards on the sidelines. This could throw a wrench in their game plan. The Knicks, though, are coming in strong with their star players in top form. With the Knicks' ironclad defense, home court mojo, a healthier lineup, and their history of outplaying the Hornets, they're looking like the team to beat tonight. The Hornets, hobbled by defensive gaps and injury woes, might just find themselves outmaneuvered. The Knicks, with their sharp shooting and the dynamic trio of Brunson, Barrett, and Randall, are primed to take control and seal the deal. Prediction. The New York Knicks are set to take the win and beat the spree. They'll leverage their defensive mastery and exploit the Hornets' weak spots. I'm banking on the Knicks to come out on top and eclipse at that 11-point spread. The next prediction is for the match between Oklahoma City Thunder and Minnesota Timberwolves. Riding the wave of an 11-5 record, the Thunder are crashing into this showdown full of gusto, while the Timberwolves, packing a slightly more impressive 12-4 scorecard, are hot on their heels this season. Taking a closer look at the Thunder's play, Shea Gilgeous Alexander is tearing up the court with a stunning average of 30.4 points per game, dishing out 6.2 assists and leading the pack with 2.3 steals per matchup. Chet Holmgren's presence is felt all over, owning the glass with 8.0 rebounds and denying 2.3 shots per game. Kenrich Williams and Olivier Saar are making it rain, hitting the net with field goal percentages of 65.4% and a scorching three-point strike rate of 66.7% respectively. Facing them, Timberwolves have Anthony Edwards, a powerhouse averaging 26.6 points and snatching 1.4 steals per game. Rudy Gobert is the king of the paint, pulling down 11.3 rebounds and blocking 2.2 shots per game. Mikey Conley is the maestro of the hardwood, handing out 5.8 assists per game. Daishaun Nix is on fear, shooting with a stellar field goal percentage of 66.7% and an unbeatable 3-point accuracy of 100%. Examining the recent plays and star performers of both squads, the Timberwolves appear to have a slight upper hand in team dynamics and depth. Yet, the Thunder's explosive offense, spearheaded by Gilgeous Alexander, is a force to be reckoned with. 
considering the direct confrontations, the home turf advantage, and the present form of both crews. I'm tilting towards a Minnesota Timberwolves win, but I expect the Oklahoma City Thunder to come through and cover the four-point spread. The next prediction is for the match between Houston Rockets and Dallas Mavericks. The Houston Rockets are hitting the hardwood with an 8-6 record this season. They're balling at a decent clip, sinking 46.7% from the field and 36.2% from downtown, averaging a solid 110 points per game. On the glass, they're grabbing 44.1 rebounds per game, putting them in the league's mid-range rebounding crew. Meanwhile, the Dallas Mavericks are bringing their A-game with a 10-6 tally. They're slightly edging out the Rockets in shooting, nailing 47.1% of their shots and showing some serious range. With a 37.5% success rate from the three-point line, they're lighting up the scoreboard with an average of 119 points per game and snagging 42.4 rebounds. In recent face-offs, the Mavericks have been schooling the Rockets, clinching four of their last five matchups. This includes some high-octane scoring showdowns. The bookies are tipping their hats to the Mavericks as 5.5-point favorites, with the game's total points expected to be over under 233.5. Crunching the numbers, the Mavericks seem to have the upper hand, particularly in lighting up the scoreboard and from beyond the arc. Their knack for outgunning the Rockets in recent games suggests they might keep up the momentum. The Rockets are rolling without Amon Thompson and Victor Oladipo today, while the Mavericks will miss Maxi Kleber. Considering the Mavericks' stellar performance lately, their dominance in recent matchups, and their scoring prowess, I'm banking on them to clinch this one. They're likely to outpace the spread, given their scoring rhythm and statistical leverage over the Rockets. Expect a high-flying game, possibly exceeding the point total, reflecting both teams' scoring tendencies. My bet is on the Mavericks to take the win, but I'm eyeing the Rockets to beat the six-point spread. The last prediction for today is for the match between Golden State Warriors and Sacramento Kings. The Golden State Warriors, clocking in at 8-9, are hustling to ramp up their game, particularly on foreign courts, where they've got a solid 5-3 rep. Stephen Curry, the main man, is dropping a cool 29.7 points and dishing out 3.9 assists per game, really bringing the heat offensively. They're netting an average of 114.2 points per matchup, hitting the mark with a 44.9% shooting clip, and they're real snipers from downtown with a 36.4% rate from beyond the arc. But their D game has been kind of shaky, especially missing Draymond Green's defensive hustle, who's slated to jump back in this round. Lately, they've been fumbling on Tuesday travels and struggling to beat the odds as the underdog following a home court win. Flipping to the Sacramento Kings, they're riding high with a 9-6 tally, especially dominant in their castle with four straight wins. De'Aaron Fox is the kingpin here, averaging 29.9 points and grabbing 4.3 boards a game, driving their offense like a beast. They're putting up about 115.5 points a game, shooting a solid 46.4% from the field. Their three-point game is also tight, hitting 35.2%, and they've been tearing it up in the opening quarters, yet their defense ranking 21st in the league might be their Achilles heel, especially squaring off against the Warriors' offensive arsenal. In their recent face-offs this season, the Warriors have come out on top in both clashes, though by the skin of their teeth and with key players benched on both sides. Green's comeback might just turbocharge the Warriors' defense and open up more scoring lanes for their big guns. The Kings, though, have been hit or miss with their support squad and might be down Keegan Murray with a back issue, which could throw a wrench in their rhythm. Eyeing the current streaks, the Kings' home court edge, and past showdowns, this bout is shaping up to be a nail-biter. The Warriors have shown they can clutch up when it counts, and Green's return might flip the script. However, the Kings have been beasts on their turf and could exploit the Warriors' defensive gaps. But crunching the numbers and weighing recent plays, I'm leaning towards the Golden State Warriors, they're poised to leverage their offensive mojo and stepped-up defense with Green back in the mix, even against the Kings' solid home game. I'm laying my chips on the Golden State Warriors to cover plus three-point spread. All right, ballers and shot callers. That's the final whistle on our game day guesses. Major shout-out for bouncing through the plays with us. If our predictions are scoring points with you, smash that subscribe like a backboard and leap into our lineup. Catch you for the next tip-off. 
Stay smooth till then.